nice and big, how I like them, it. <laughs> so hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new, hello, or welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag, I go by Luna Rose, cause I'm the flower that blooms at night. And as you can read from the title of today's video, we're gonna be doing another high heel haul and try on. So let's get into it, shall we? So like I said, I picked up all of these heels from Just Fab. I do have a referral link, which I will link down below. I did purchase all of these heels myself, combined with the help of my Patreon family. And once per month, every single tier on my Patreon will see an entire dedicated transformation inspired by some of the heels I got from Just Fab. So let's see what I got, shall we? So the first pair of heels I picked up is this yellow plaid chunky wedge heel. As soon as I saw them on the Just Fab website, it 100% like gave me Cher from Clueless vibes. And for sure, I have to do a full on like Cher transformation at some point on my Patreon. But I just thought they were super cute, super like chic and different and not something that I own. So yeah, I knew I needed them. And this is the first pair I got, girl. The next pair of heels I picked up is this super soft and feminine pink suede effect stiletto. What I thought was super pretty about these heels is that the like strap to hold it to your ankle is like a really pretty rhinestone gold chain with like little like flowery details all over it. I just thought they were super pretty, super like up my alley, super my style. So um, they went right in my basket girl. Okay, so I think these next shoes could be some of my favourite I ever own. The actual pump itself is just a plain, basic, white high heel stiletto, which is really nice to add, like, a clean but sexy vibe to a look. But what really, like, elevates it and what really interests me is that the, like, ankle strap of this is, like, a gold glittery snake. I think it is so fierce, so different, and just like so up my alley. Snake print is one of my favorite like prints of all time, so anything with like snakes on it or any like snake looking things really also seem to appeal to me. So this heel is absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to wear her and for sure at some point I'll be doing a full-on like glam snake print transformation with a really pretty like snake accented heel to go with it. <sighs> they give me so much life, girl. I think you guys can tell why I picked these heels up. The next pair I ended up picking up is this super glittery, glimmery, pink to like a gold glitter heel. This is so sparkly and so like reflective. It is so stunning. The fact that it's ombre really makes it an interesting and like unique kind of looking shoe and <sighs> I'm addicted to like this glitter and shine. It also doesn't feel like that glitter that's gonna like rub straight off and like transfer, so that's super nice. And I can't wait to do like a full on like glittery party girl kind of transmission with this as the like heel to the look. And <sighs> I really like the glitter range. So I think you guys know me pretty well by now. In pretty much every single heel haul or every single clothing haul, I pick up something snake print or snake related or something floral. And uh, the next shoe is this absolutely stunning white and like pink floral accented stiletto. This heel is very like upright and very slanted. So she's going to kind of be a little bit of a bitch to wear and walk in. But oh, this shoe is so pretty. I do already have a look planned for this since I have like a pink floral dress I picked up in a previous Boohoo haul that literally matches the shoe to a T. So um. Expect a full on like pink transformation at some point on my Patreon since ugh, everything. So the next heel I picked up is just a plain, simple, white platformed heel. I do already own this style, but in black, which I got in a previous haul, which I will try and find and link down below. I just found that she was super comfortable and sexy, and it does have just a simple little like gold lock detail on the back, which I think just adds that little bit like class and sophistication to it. So, um... Yeah, I now also own it in white. I think this shoe is very pretty and kind of simple, but also has like a nice sex appeal since the heel is nice and big. How I like them. It. <laughs> and then the final pair of heels that I picked up is probably the pair I'm going to get the most use out of. They have a slightly like lower chunky heel than a lot of the other stuff I've picked up today. And what I ended up buying these for is to pretty much wear as a boy. Out of drag, I was saying my style is quite like grungy and like gender fluidy androgynous and 
To be honest, girl, nine times out of ten, I just go for comfort over style. But when I'm feeling a little bit spicy or a little bit saucy on a certain day, I definitely like to reach for, like, a chunkier, like, grungy wedge-styled heel and... This fit the brief. I can see myself wearing them in drag and out of drag and they will definitely be worn lots by me and I just think they're like a really nice stable staple like a booty boot heel. <laughs> so I needed them girl. So that completes my little heel haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which pair of heels were your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe to a bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. There should be one new video every single Monday at 10 p.m. at Greenwich Mean Time. But like I said, make sure you smack that notification bell because there's bound to be bonus days. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.